To start, the patient's elbow should be totally extended, the fingers closed. Prepare the measuring sheet with the patient's data. You will also need a pen, an eyeliner pencil and the measuring tape. For the first measuring point, we take the distance from the baby finger's nail bed to the styloid processes of the ulna and mark it with the eyeliner. This point always remains the same. To remember it, write down the distance exactly at the first measuring point on your measuring sheet. Now use this mark and move on and mark every four centimeters. The elbow stays extended until the last possible position to get a horizontal line. Apply the measuring tape and make sure that the market spot is in between the two parts of the tape. Move on to two or three marked spots and write down the results on the measuring sheet to within a millimeter. You keep on doing this with every marked position until you reach the last possible horizontal line. Measuring tape should only be laid on the skin without causing any tension by pulling too strong. And the measuring tape should always be applied in a right angle to the arm's longitudinal axis. For the hand's measurement, you start at the first measuring point and move on distal 4 and 8 centimeters. These two marks are not added to the arms volume. You can find an Excel table in the download area on our website to calculate the volume of the arm by filling in your measured circumferences.